This is how to make some homemade fire lighters out of used candles and some cotton pads. So, what you're going to want to do first is get the wax out of the candles. Obviously you can do this probably a little bit more easy if you just bought a candle that doesn't come <laughs> in a container like this, but this is what I had lying around. So you just get the wax out. You're going to want to take the wick out as well. So, got a couple of them out and you're just going to want to Chop them up. Doesn't have to be too um too careful with it. Doesn't have to be too small. Um, just enough so it's gonna melt easily in the microwave. You wouldn't want big chunk. Um, and you just continue with all the rest of them. So this is four of those chopped up little candles, and we're gonna leave these in the microwave. putting it on for like a minute and then seeing what it looks like after that in a minute. So, you can see, started to melt, not quite. Give it a little stir and put it in for another 30 seconds and then see after that. So this is it after three minutes. So I say do it at minute intervals, and just have a check each time. Um, these big bits should hopefully just disintegrate into it, melt into it. And then we can get going with the cotton buds. It's pretty much good to go. We're gonna just, pretty basic, put that in there. Let it soak up properly. Right in there. This amount of wax isn't gonna make very many of these, by the way. So four of those half-used little candles. It's only enough for three of these, which I'm fine with because I got a bunch of them left over from last time um, but the reason why I'm making the microwave and I just use a little basin so. cooking on the stove would be fine obviously you can obviously melt a lot more wax and make a lot more in a shorter amount of time but you have to buy either buy a pan specifically for the wax which is a little bit of a waste for me or just spend hours cleaning it out and I don't really have time for either of those things. So putting a little basin, whacking it in the microwave works just as well. So how you use these, you know, snap them in half. So all of that cotton is exposed. Just gonna bend it a little bit like that and set that on fire. in there hopefully it won't take too long to catch hopefully it'll catch <laughs> so what's good about these fire lighters is that um obviously they're waterproof because of the wax you don't have to worry about putting them in like a really sealed bag or anything when you go camping you can also light it with a flint and steel i've never actually had any success doing that but i've seen a lot of other people do it also it's really easy to move around once it's lit you don't have to worry about it like burning you or putting it directly in the fire at the start you can light it on a bench and then move it over to the fire. Coming to the end of my very short lived fire, but um, I would really recommend making these even if it's just once to give it a go. Save you a lot of money on fire lighters in the future. Or, or you could not, and that's fine.